Jeffrey, you uh, you know, star in Transparent uh, as Maura Pfefferman, a transgender woman who has transitioned late in life. Um, and season three dealt with uh, a, a, another significant stage in her transition this past season. She was trying to, to get gender confirmation surgery. Uh, what did you think about uh, taking Maura through that process this past season? Um, well, I, I thought uh, the, the uh, it's so interesting that I uh, – I, I'm remembering the scene exactly as you as you answer, as you asked the question. I remember it exactly, and uh, I remember remarking how wonderful the the actor was who played the doctor because it was <laughs> a hard scene to play. But just the um, uh, actually that scene coupled with the scene on the on the boat, and I don't mean to change your your question, but the uh, mm -hmm. with with uh, with Ali on the boat where we sort of throw off our I thought was uh, was absolutely fantastic and a, a fantastic assignment and one that I really relished uh, uh, doing. Yeah, and and that 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 emotional scene, uh, you know, where where Moore finds out that she, you know it won't. You know, she won't be able to have it because she she has uh, certain medical issues that would uh, right. make uh, surgery risky. Right. Uh, you know that that scene you know is very emotional. You can you can see that kind of uh, uh, and there was just something so, really. so uh, compelling about the banality of what the what the doctor had to say and the the results of it for for this uh, for this woman and uh, uh, and I love what. Uh, Jill and company had Mora uh, do in a reaction, uh, and just Mora is a real survivor, and she finds her she finds her way, um, and uh, she found her way through that. But you're right; it was a very emotional scene. Yeah, and uh, as you mentioned, the scene uh, with Allie, uh, mm -hmm. on, you know, during the cruise, uh, yeah. you know, after after she went through all, you know, the the you know trying to jump through all those hoops and, 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 you know, to get the surgery and then finding out that it can't happen. And she gets right. that moment of a little bit of moment of, of liberation, you know, where she throws away her shapewear and, and, you know, right. and I think that's this, I think that's the survival part of her. She finds her way. I mean, she was the first one to, in the family to, I mean, to go after her authenticity uh, at her late age and she finds her way. And uh, I, I, I find that, um, very inspiring. Yeah, and, and what's interesting is this past season, uh, you know, we saw a little bit more of, of what Maura has had to overcome in terms of, uh, you know, her life experiences because we got that flashback episode to her childhood mm -hmm. um, and then to meeting Shelly. And, and we saw, you know, mm -hmm. she had to survive all of this even before, you know, right. long before we got to the point. Where yeah, we that was uh, quite revealing. It was uh, it was quite informative and quite uh, quite. It was, it was uh, magnificent, and uh, uh, a lot of people talk to me about that. It's 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 really interesting. It's so, um, um, and Jill and company have just done a great job in in, in doing that. And through the, now, through, you know, uh, it, it's just uh, to me uh, what people, um, you know, it, it's so interesting. Just in my little empirical test, as I as I live my life, and I go through, the, you know, I go to the grocery store, or I go and, and talk to people. People stop and talk to me about the, this family, this this wonderful Thefferman family, and uh, um, it, it, it's very interesting. It's uh, we've graduated from, uh, you know, uh, like your work to um, people just stopping and talking and talking about their family and their experiences. And uh, it's quite uh, – it's quite. so whatever we're doing, it's hitting people on some sort of uh, – some uh, familial level. And since we learned so much uh, about Mora from that flashback episode, uh, you know, has it influenced the way you approach the character going forward, you know, since you have oh, all sure. the Oh, sure. I mean, it's all like it, it just thickens the uh, – it just, you know, it thickens the – uh, the, the the palette the palette has just more colors and more more information um yeah absolutely and and the way this season has um you know really highlighted that uh conflict for Mora, you know the this alienation from from her own body uh you know being a, a cisgender male actor uh, how do you try to capture those kinds of of deep unique feelings that that are so unique to to the trans experience well there's a fail-safe uh, in, in Mora that that uh, helps me uh, and that I'm very grateful for is that 
as Jeffrey is learning, uh, he's playing a character who is also learning, and uh, that um, uh, every day of her life uh, is, a, is a new experience. I, I have to tell you, it's very freeing and very exciting to play a scene. I'm just thinking of a scene that we just shot this season. Uh, uh, that is uh, that you you say to yourself, I really know, I have no idea how to play this. And that's sort of that's sort of Mora's <laughs> that's sort of like a on the napkin wear. I mean, that's sort of her <laughs> motto. I mean, um, there are so many things that she doesn't know how to do. For instance, just going to the LGBT center and, and answering that call, she doesn't really know how to do that. But I think it's very valiant in what she does, and in, in that she's an opener, and you know, she 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 goes and she she helps and she administers. Yeah, and, and then of course when she goes to to search for that uh, that caller, uh, she she ends up putting her foot in her mouth with <laughs> with a few other uh, uh, you know when she meets other other women. Uh, uh, yeah, just, yes, just she all, does, all and, but it's all innocent, and mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah, I do remember that. But she goes, and that's the thing is that that she goes, and she uh, um, she just leaves that that room, and she goes, and I think that's that uh, for all intents and purposes is 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 Mora, and uh, she is is going to help that. Um, that that young person the same way as when she was young she she is she's she's um anyhow um yeah, yeah. it was a very, very me, interesting uh season and that reminds me of kind of a, a counterpoint uh you know at one Please. point during the season ally um you know she's talking about teaching literature from you know from you know people of color and and being worried about stepping on landmines and uh but mora is stepping on landmines but she's still She's willing to do that to put herself in the position of risking her or herself to yeah. to try and help others. Yes, that's right, and beautifully said. That's exactly exact. And there's no real agenda in it. It's not. It's not even. It's not political. It's not uh, didactic. It is just. Uh, she's she's going to help another person, and I find that 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 scene between them just beautiful. Uh, just two people talking, one person trying to help out another. Yeah, and and uh, the show in general has uh, has opened up a discussion about uh, uh, cisgender actors playing transgender characters, uh, yeah. and of course in your you know accept, in your acceptance speech uh, last year at the Emmys, uh, congratulations for for that win by the way. Thank you. Uh, you know you said uh, you know give transgender talent a chance, uh, and that you'd be happy if you're the last cisgender actor yes, to I play. I think I said I would not be. Oh, you would not be unhappy. I, 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 I can't remember what I said. I remember, I remember shushing the orchestra, and they stopped. And I remember being shocked by that. And, uh, and I'm glad. Uh, yes, um, you know, uh, I, I think um, uh, there, there, the revolution is there, but much more needs to be done. But it is being done. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of it. I'm aware of it. That there's more casting opportunities. There's more opportunities, uh, but there's a uh, um, and and so uh, you know I, I I say that Jill Soloway gave me the role of my life, but she also gave me the responsibility of a lifetime. So uh, I, I don't take it lightly, and I yeah. certainly don't take the portrayal of Mora uh, lightly. It it, it, it actually. Um, you know, as I say, it, it, I have that tap, tap tap of responsibility almost every day, and uh, I uh, I relish it. And I'm also uh, um, I'm also very aware of the responsibility of it. I really yeah, like Mora. Mm-hmm. Mora is a great teacher, um, and is, um, I think she's funny. I think she's witty. I think she's brave. Um, I, I think. Um, I, I admire her. She's a good friend. Uh, yeah, and season three also saw the end of uh, Moro's relationship with uh, Vicky, who uh, was played by uh, Angelica Houston. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, my, my favorite is, is calling her uh, out on her uh, her not tipping correctly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, yeah. Of, of all the of all the the, the little of all the things to call there. out, right? <laughs> yeah. And so like, I don't Houston want you to have this surgery, but you know. uh, uh, actresses. Uh, 
And we were born on the same day. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it was, well, Not the same it, year, it, same day. And it's interesting, the conflict between them, uh, you know, how, uh, you know, how Vicky was having difficult processing, difficulty processing, you know, that more wanted to have, uh, you know, the, 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 the gender confirmation surgery mm-hmm. and, you know, it seemed to tap into a lot of her own feelings going back to her own, uh, double mastectomy. Look at that. That's that, the same journey that I took to help my friend in the season opener is the same journey that, you know, Vicky took when she, you know, found more with, with the car. It's, a, it, I, I just put that together. I don't know if it means anything. Probably not, but um, I think that's interesting. And they had that huge argument, of course, with, uh, you know, you know, where Vicky's like, I don't want you to, you know, have this surgery, and more like you're a bad tipper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, that was such great material for, for both you and, and Angelica. Well, that's Houston. the thing yeah. about uh, Soloway and company is that, you know, they they uh, they zig when you think they're going to zag and zag when they think you think they're going to zig. And all of a sudden they're breaking up, but for some reason you're laughing and uh, or you're laughing at a funeral and uh, crying when they're eating coleslaw. And that's the uh, that's the beautiful admixture that they they know so well. And um, I believe that's what people are responding to when they say, oh, that's just like my family, you know, uh, uh, because we, we are all the same family that sits around the Thanksgiving table, are we not? Yeah, very true. And, and you know, of course, the family dynamic that 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 was that sparked that argument was, of course, between Maura and her sister, who's played by Jenny O'Hara. Right. Uh, there are a lot of Jenny deep O'Hara, wounds. Yeah. yeah. There yeah. are a lot of deep wounds there. Do you, do you think we might see some kind of reconciliation between them in the future? There were a few moments where. Oh, it would like I, would I would I seem too glib if I said stay tuned? <laughs> <laughs> oh well, so I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, yes, you know, that will, will be, be. You'll see. There back. is. Uh, there's more shall be revealed, as they say. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, it's rife. That that relationship is rife, and um, you know, uh, 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 Jenny has a lot to learn, as does Mora, uh, but Jenny has a lot to learn, and uh, she's going to she's going to learn. Now, uh, uh, this, you know, as you mentioned, with the show's, you know, tone, you know, being, her name is not know, Jenny, though. Let me let me repeat that. Bryna, B R Y. Oh yeah, the character is replace yeah. that. Bryna has a lot to learn. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and uh, you know, the show in general, the way it blends these tones of, you know, you're laughing, and then at times you're, you know, you know, a scene, a scene makes you cry, and it mm-hmm. seems to be in general a, a departure from a lot of uh, the previous work you've done, from you know, Larry Sanders to. Arrested Development, uh, you know, some straight comedies you've done or straight dramas, uh, uh, you know, is, is this, does this feel like a markedly different experience for you as an actor, you know, playing the role, uh, or, or is it always different no matter what the project is? Well, I, 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 I think um, uh, there is a uh, – I, I think the – uh, there, there is. Uh, well, let, let me answer by saying I thought my final role was going to be Lear, but apparently it's going to be Mora, and um, it, it, it is it is the role of a lifetime. But I see seeds uh, of Mora's vulnerability in 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 a Hank Kingsley. Let's say I know that sounds odd, or a, an Oscar of Arrested Development. Let's say because of their they are all. Three of those characters are very, very uh, heart-based. Would that, is that even English, what I just said? <laughs> uh, oh, no, um, I totally understand, yeah. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying. And so, but this is more, the, the big revelation about Mora to me was, I thought that there, I didn't know that the interior journey was going to be much more extensive than the exterior journey. What I mean by exterior is, you know, all the accoutrement, but the interior journey is, is truly the most exciting. And I think uh, um, has really uh, I, 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 was, was quite, quite a revelation to me, and I'm, I'm very happy for it. Am I making any sense? Oh, yes, absolutely. 
Good. And you yeah. and you did get that Bryna thing because I do not want to say that Jenny O'Hara has a lot of. <laughs> Please. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, and, I mean, that, that journey was very, very interesting, and uh, um, uh, I, I do remember, uh, you know, the I, I thought all of that was going to be, and that, that was the easiest pie, uh, uh, you know, the, the hair and the makeup and the shoes and the blah, 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 and I had no problem with it. I, I just, uh, I actually quite liked it, but the, the, the you know, the... There's a wonderful adage in acting is that you're stuck with the character, but the character is, stuck, uh, is also stuck with you. And uh, uh, Mora is a great teacher. She's, she's taught me a lot. You know, I was one of those actors that had to, you know, I, I, I memorized not only my lines, but I memorized other people's lines. And, oh, gosh, I read the back of the call sheet, the front of the call sheet. I knew when catering was coming. I knew it. And with <laughs> Mora, uh, I, there's just, no way to plan your day. You just never know. I mean, how are you going to play that scene with the doctor? How are you going to? I mean, the, and it's a delight. Uh, the, the prize and the um, the uh, challenge is, is absolutely delightful. Now, the show, of course, is, is coming back for fourth season, and it sounds mm-hmm. like you are hard at work at, at it. Uh, how far into the season have you, uh, have you filmed? Or, or, uh, oh, you finished it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm looking through that purview when you, you said a couple of your questions, and I, I that's why I said uh, uh, chuckling, stay tuned. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Now, you know, without giving anything, you know, you know, too much away, of course. Uh, you know, is there anything in particular with Mora, uh, you know, that you would like to explore more of is that you haven't already, or maybe relationships with other characters, you know, that, that you'd like to, you know, deepen in, in, you know, in some way? No, I direction? actually, uh, uh, and I'm not being coy. I, I so trust Jill that, um, I just, I just wait. And, uh, I kind of, uh, my, 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 my cry is always, don't tell me, don't tell me, because I want to be surprised. And so I always, uh, but there are some uh, interesting, um, Mora is desperately trying to find where she, where home is. And uh, she's trying to connect. And remember, she's not the youngest person at the LGBT center. Mm-hmm. Uh, in that room of, of the emergency callers, she she is, you know, the, the elderly one there. And it's it's really interesting. So the admixture is is very interesting. Did I evade your question artfully enough? <laughs> oh, absolutely. It was it was, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, it was uh, very very uh, uh, artfully done. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's you know I mean I think she's exploring. I mean where who are her friends? Who can she trust? Where where is she going to live? Who what who is she going to be with? I mean um, uh, what. What will sex be like? Who will sex be with? Uh, um, the, all, all this uh, remains in front of her. Uh, do, do you get uh, the scripts all at once before it starts filming, or do you shoot as you know as it's being written, like you know, an episode at a time? Where, where we are, but we we sort of have a purview of, uh, and we we sort of know uh, uh, sort of the arc, as it were, and the beats, as it as it were, and the uh, and the, the script is ever changing, which is the mark of a good show. It's always, it's very, very fluid and very beautiful. Uh, speaking of, you know, shows uh, returning, uh, there, there has been, you know, some discussion I knew since you were the fourth go season. <laughs> since, uh, oh, I have It's to. always the last question. That's what <laughs> And it usually is, my editor will kill me, but I have to ask you. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, the news we're talking about arrested, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, my editor right. won't kill me. Uh, I think my editor will be fine. Imminent uh, but yeah, and imminent. Yeah. Is it, uh, did you say it's imminent? Imminent and imminent, but I, uh, um, nothing is official yet. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just I, I'm I, I I can't say. Oh no 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 problem. One one idea. We wouldn't want you to to give uh, too much away or or to you know. Don't you love the phrase imminent and imminent? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even know what it means. How do you like that one? <laughs> it's, 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 it's mysterious. No, like uh, there's always is. news with Arrested, uh, <laughs> but we're still a little short of time. Yeah. All right. 
Well, uh, I'm absolutely looking forward to that, and certainly looking forward to season four of, of Transparent. Uh, and it's, and season uh, three you know, coming up. I, 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 with all, you know, not to sound, not to make everyone who's reading this eye roll, but I mean, my goodness, what a what a wonderful uh, what a wonderful time this is. Um, I couldn't be I couldn't be happier. Um, you know, I'm not a teenager, so this is good stuff. In season three, of course, we'll be competing uh, at the Emmys this year. You know, eligible for consideration. Uh, so, you know, so fingers crossed for for uh, more uh, you know success there as well. Uh, thank you so much for for talking to me today. I really enjoyed it. Thank you.